He was God God's explosive power over sickness. In Matthew chapter 8. I'm going to read to you from verse 16 and verse 17. Matthew chapter 8 verses 16 and 17. And as I read this, remember that Jesus Christ is the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. That what he did at that time, he is doing tonight. If you were there at that time, with your sickness, affliction, or infirmity, he would have, he would have healed you. And the Bible says it's the same. Yesterday, today, and forever. Congrats for being here tonight. Congratulations for being here tonight. Where are you? I said, where are you? Something good is going to happen to you. Give me a good, good or sure state. Amen. Look at Matthew chapter 8 verse 16. And when the evening was come, they brought unto him many that were possessed with devils. And he cast out the spirits with his word and he healed all that were sick. He cast out the spirit with his word. You don't need any other thing. With his word. And tonight, when I come to point number three, I'll be telling you if you have any activity of Satan, of spirits, of sickness there, I'm going to speak the word of Christ from here instantaneously. This is where go. He cast out the spirits with his word. And he healed, tell me the next word there. He healed, I said, tell me the next word there. What does all mean? All means I am part of that. All means my name is there. All means that my miracle is there. Anybody excluded? Who are the people going to get it tonight? How many? How many? I said how many? And he, he that does not change. He who remains the same. He the same yesterday, today and forever. He healed all that was sick, that it might be fulfilled which was spoken by Isaiah the prophet. That it might be fulfilled. Jesus has a commitment. The commitment is not to your crime. Lord, look at my tears. It doesn't, it's not committed to your crime. The commitment is not committed to, Lord, I've given so much money, I've paid my tithes and offering. It's not committed to your tithes and offering. It's not committed to your drinking water. Water from Jordan, water from Jerusalem, water from the Red Sea, water from Syrian Sea. It's not committed to your drinking water. It's 
is not committed to your anointing oil. He is committed to fulfilling the word that has been written concerning him. Whether you cry or you don't cry, whether you have oil or you don't have oil, you have water, you don't have water, that it might be fulfilled, which was spoken by the prophet Isaiah. Himself took our infirmities and bare our sicknesses. Himself. Himself. By strife to healed. By the name of Jesus. The power of his cross. The power of his atonement. Because of what he has done. To fulfill what I've been reaching concerning him. He says, because of that, he carried all our infirmities. He took away all our sicknesses. They came, they prayed, they were healed. They came, they requested, they were made whole. And tonight is still the same as ever. God's explosive power over sickness. Will it happen today? Will it happen to you? It's coming your way. Number three. God's expressed promise of satisfaction. Uh, you know, the promise of God is not something you'll say, well, I went there, I saw other people, they got blessing, but me, I, I, I guess God has done enough. See what God has done. The air we breathe, sufficient for everyone. The water in God's ocean, sufficient for everyone. The ground on which we sow, sufficient for every farmer. The parcel of land on which we build, sufficient for everyone to have a shelter on his head. If every other sin is sufficient and satisfactory, how do you think the blessing of God will be less than that? You will get your share tonight. In John chapter 10 verse 10. John chapter 10 verse 10. The thief cometh not, but for to steal, and to kill, and to destroy. But I am come. It's there tonight. I am come. It's right by your side. I am come that they might have life. We would have, that's sufficient. That's enough. I have come that they might have life. Eternal life. Spiritual life. Physical life. Happy life. Healthy life. A life that is free. Free to succeed. Free to move on. Lie, lie, without any subtraction of any good thing. I am come that they might have life. And then it says, and that they might have it more abundantly. Uh, have you noticed what is there? We can say, I'm come that they might have life, number one. 
Number two, I'm, I've come that they might have life abundantly. We would have said, Lord, thank you. You've done more than enough. I am come that they might have life. I am come that they might have life abundantly. He says, don't go yet. There's something else. I am come that they might have life more abundantly. And tonight is there for you. There is no discrimination. That's why he says, come unto me. All ye that labor and are heavy lady. And I will give you rest. I will give you life. I will give you forgiveness. I will give you salvation. I will give you healing. I will give you deliverance. I will give you eternal life. Come and everything is available for you. Today is a God of salvation. He has a plan of salvation. And he has you in mind. Today there's a plan and power for healing. Any sickness in your life, he can take away, he will take away. He has included you in the manifestation of that power. And today there is a promise of satisfaction and sufficiency. And he has included you in the plan. Now whosoever will may come. And the blessing of God is reaching you right now. Are you there? I said, are you there? I said, the blessing of God is reaching you right now in Jesus' name. It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. This is the moment of the beginning of his manifestation. He wants to forgive your sin. He wants to give you salvation. And then after that, he wants to give you healing. He wants to use the dynamite from heaven and blow away every infirmity, every sickness you have in your body, in your life. And this is a moment of decision. If you are asking that the first thing to be done, that is the plan of salvation. If you are saying, I want to recognize I am included in that plan. All sins forgiven. Guilt taken away. Condemnation taken away. Eternal life given to you as a gift. Are you saying, yes, Lord God of salvation? I thank you for that plan of salvation. I am included in that plan of salvation. I want that salvation, forgiveness, eternal life right now. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand. That's all it takes. It just wants your cooperation. To say, yes, I want your salvation. Where are you? Just raise up your hand. Salvation. Forgiveness. Eternal life. If you're raising up your hand, you'll stand up where you are. And then the salvation of the Lord will come to you right there. You're raising up your hand. Where are you? Where are you? You can, if you count out yourself, that's you. That's your fault. But if you say, I have part in that plan. Salvation, I'm included in that plan. Eternal life, I'm included in that plan. Tonight is the night of salvation for me. 
whosoever comes to Christ, he will for no reason cast out. So just stand up. You're raising up your hand. You're saying, oh Lord, here am I. I believe. Here am I. I accept. Here am I. I embrace your plan of salvation, including me. While you stand up, just quietly tell the Lord, Lord, I know I am a sinner. I cannot save myself. I've sinned against God. I've sinned against my neighbors. I've sinned even against myself. But I hear of your plan of salvation. That it includes me. Lord, I come. Forgive me. Cleanse my heart. Change my life. Grant me your salvation now. Lord, I believe you will not reject me. I believe that Jesus now is my Savior. Thank you, Lord. I pray the strength and the grace to live in newness of life. You grant unto me now. In Jesus' name I pray. And everybody said, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you at, that, at this time. Thank you for the plan of salvation that includes everyone all those who have come to you now from the depths of their hearts I pray that your salvation will be theirs in Jesus name grant them your forgiveness grant them your grace grant them your salvation Send them forth to live now by your power in newness of life. We thank you because we know you have answered. In Jesus' name we pray. And everybody said, Amen. Your time of healing, deliverance, miracle has now come. It's coming your way. What are you there? How many are going to receive that miracle power tonight? Be it unto you according to your declaration in Jesus' name. If you are blind, you are lame, or deaf and dumb, or you have epilepsy, you have any swelling in your body? Goiter or hunchback? Elephantiasis, big leg. Water hair that is swelling for that child. Or cancer. Tuberculosis. Any kind of problem. Or so kidney that has a problem. Livers have any problem. The power of God is here tonight to blow that sickness away. I'm going to pray for you now. 
and I'm going to send the explosive power of the word into your life. Once you hear the final amen, that means it is so. Amen means let it be, it is so. So after the final amen, if you were blind before, look up here, so the direction you are hearing sound, look up, you'll be able to see me. And then, if you are lame, you get up, you start walking. Something swollen in your body, check it up now, see it, because you won't see it again after this prayer. You brought anyone in chains because they are mad, after the prayer, you loosen that chain, everything will be all right. You already, where are you? It's coming your way. Where are you? Get ready now. Get ready now. The healing is in the power, authority, the name of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you because you'll never fail. Almighty God, we have declared already. You are God and you change not. Lord Jesus, we have declared it already. The same yesterday, today, and forever. I come assuring your people that you will not fail. That you cannot fail. I pray, O oh Lord, manifest your power to them now in Jesus' name. That big problem, that madness, the spirit of uh, madness, I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. I pray, Lord, for those who are deaf and dumb. Spirit of deafness and spirit of dumbness, I command you right now. Come out in Jesus' name. Those dumb people and those dead people begin to hear and begin to speak out. Lord, I pray for those who have any sword in their body. I command that goiter come out in Jesus' name. That hunchback be removed in Jesus' name. Elephantiasis is swollen in your legs. I command, get out in Jesus' name. That are near there, I don't allow you to remain there. I command, be healed in Jesus' name. That big water head, I command that that water in the head will be drained out. That child will become normal. Everything that has taken possession of that head, the touch of the Lord is upon you now, be made whole in Jesus' name. That disease of cancer be healed in Jesus' name. Tuberculosis be healed in Jesus' name. HIV AIDS, I command you, be healed in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray for those who are blind. Touch those blind eyes right now. Touch those blind eyes right now. Remove the bandage of Satan and the blackness and darkness in their sight in Jesus' name. Those who are lame, 
legs paralyzed, hands withered, neck that cannot stand, head cannot stand on the neck, the vertebrae on the back, uh, the, the backbone that is not strong. I pray, Lord, touch them right now. Heal them in Jesus' name. That short leg, I command that short leg, grow out right now in Jesus' name. Short hand, I command that shorter hand, grow out in Jesus' name. And those who have any part of their body missing, I command that there will be a creative miracle right now. That those parts that are missing be created by the Lord, even now in your body, in Jesus' name. Kidneys receive your healing. Leaders receive your healing. All the lungs receive your healing. Lord, everywhere now, from the right to the left, from the front to the back, those who are inside, those who are outside, I send forth the miracle power upon every one of you now in Jesus' name. That explosive power of miracle be manifest in your life right now. Lord, I thank you because I know it is done. It is done. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen, it is done. Amen, it is done. You can check up yourself now and see the manifestation of the power of God. If you are blind before, you are no more blind. Open your eyes and look and see. You had something soul in your body before. Check it up. Now you are made whole. And any, any condition you had before, check up. Do what you couldn't do before. 